Hello, vinyl community. How you doing? I'm Gary, and this is Physical Format Rock and Roll. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, I wanted to jump in on this contest. I was going to do it earlier, back when I saw uh, Doug do his initial uh, little contest video. But uh, you know what? I, I, I'm living my life. I got stuff going on. But right now... We are going to do that with my official Wonder Woman uh, bottle opener. How about a little bit of Shock Top Summer Shandy? Cheers to you, vinyl community. That's a taste of summer right there, my friends. So, Doug has rebranded his channel, the Auditory Vinyl. It used to just be Doug Anderson, but he decided, hey, you know what, I uh, I want to start over again. So he's got a contest to hopefully get him some more subs, get him out there, uh, which is a good idea because, you know, sometimes when people disappear like that and they reappear, you don't realize it. So he's doing a contest. Uh, the prize, it varies depending on who you are what he thinks you like or whatever. The contest is called one, two, three, go. Before I go any further, just make sure I will leave a link, obviously, uh, to his channel so you can go check him out so you can subscribe to him if you're not already subscribed. So please do that. So anyway, the contest, one, two, three, go. He's got a few rules, uh, not that hard, uh, which is cool, right? So the first thing on the one is show or give a shout out to a channel and show an album that you might see on that channel. Okay, so I am going to shout out my buddy Sven from over at All the World's a Stage. Uh, you know him, you love him. All right, at least you know him. Uh, but you got I got to show an album that uh, you would probably see on his channel. It makes you think of him. So I am going with Tanya Tucker, Tear Me Apart. This is from 1979. You look at the back, you look at those different faces. That's probably what uh, Tanya might have looked like sometimes because I think, you know, maybe she was partying quite a bit right around that time. I know she had a crazy relationship with Glenn Campbell. But anyway, so Steve, uh, you know, if there's two things that our buddy Sven likes. It's female singers and country music. You know, I mean, it's like Sven always says. Now, when, when he wants to tell you something and he wants you to pay attention, he always says, well, it's like I always say. So you're kind of like, ooh, what's it going to be? Uh, like I always say, when it comes to vocalists, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that twang. He likes that twang in the voice. So, you know... That's all right. That's pretty cool. Another thing he says, though, it's kind of creepy. He says, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. I try to tell him not to say that stuff. But anyway, go check out Sven over at All the World's Stage. He's a great guy. Cheers to you, Sven. Next up, what is it? I'm looking at the records I got now. And, oh, yeah, two, uh, two artists that you think maybe don't get talked about quite enough in the vinyl community. You know, now, I, you know, I, I'd seen Alex's video and he kind of said, you know, yeah, I could go like really out there kind of thing. And, you know, I think most of us could, but I try not to do that. I, I went with bands that we know a little bit. Uh, one of them that I picked was Wishbone Ash. Uh, yeah, they get talked about somewhat, but I don't think they really get talked about enough. Uh, they're a really good band. Um, yeah, they've got some clunkers in there, but they've really got some great albums. Uh, very unique, Double Guitar Attack. Uh, this, of course, is their most famous album, probably their best, Argus. Well, maybe their live album is. But uh, really good, really good album, really good band. And, you know, I just think maybe we should delve into them a little bit more. So Wishbone Ash, and then kind of a totally different thing, The Ohio Players. This, of course, is one of their bigger albums, Fire. Uh, the Ohio Players, a funk band from the 70s. And uh, even though, you know, they rarely get talked about. Yeah, I show them sometimes. There's the guys in the band there. Uh, 
but I, you know, I just think they're a fun band to listen to. And, you know, it says Ohio, the Ohio players. So I think maybe they should be talked about a little more also. Okay, three, what is it? Three is, uh, oh yeah, name an artist who has been in three different bands or, you know, or one solo thing and two other bands. You know, he's been involved in three other things. So I went with a singer that I like, who's been in a lot of stuff I like, and that's Graham Bonnet. Uh, Graham Bonnet has been in different bands. He was in Alcatraz. There he is on the back. Uh, this is, of course, No Parole for Rock and Roll. I'm sorry I'm getting that glare. Which, this album also had a young Ingve Malmsteen on it. So he was in Alcatraz. He was also in Rainbow for one album. He was on the Down to Earth album, which... I like, I really like that album. And this is a live album that I got uh, that is of that time period there. So it's it's Graham Bonnet singing. That's why I had to pick this up. It's from 1975. And it's kind of cool because, you know, you're, you're hearing him sing some of the songs off the album, but he's also singing older Rainbow songs. So you're hearing him sing some Ronnie James Dio songs. And I think that was part of you know, part of the problem, right? Graham Bonnet had to follow Ronnie James Dio, one of the greatest singers of all time. But I think he definitely put his stamp on the band Rainbow, and I really like his era. And then, of course, he did this famous album, Assault Attack, with the one and only Michael Schenker. Uh, if this isn't my favorite <coughs> Michael Schenker solo album, it's definitely in my top three. Uh, I love this. There's the guys in the back. This is a fantastic album. Uh, I think I think Graham did a great job. There's terrific songs on here. Of course, Michael Schenker did a fantastic job. If you're not familiar with Assault Attack by Michael Schenker, I would definitely check it out. So Graham Bonnet was my pick there. So there you go. There's my one, two, three, go. So go, I will get out of here. Uh, thank you very much. Please go check out Mr. Doug, Doug over at the Auditory vinyl. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Gary. This is Physical Format Rock and Roll. Till the next time, my friends, I will see you down the road.